So now let's see how we can go around and add in text inside of Microsoft Designer. So to do that, over here on the left hand side, you can see that text is an option. So if I were to go around and click right here, then you can see that there's different types of text that you can add in. For example, if I were to go around and add in a heading, a heading text is added in, which is a last text as you can see right here. I can go around over here and double click right here to go around and change this up right here, just like this. And then you got the heading text as you want. Similarly, you can go around over here onto text and add in a subheading, which is a bit smaller right here, just like this. So I'm just going to go around and say, keep on learning right here, just like this over here. And then I'm going to go around and drag this out right here, just like this. Then I'm going to go around onto text and add in a body text right here, just like this. And I'm going to go around and say, learn at your convenience right here, just like this. And this is what you have, as you can see. The only difference in between these three texts is the size of the text right here that you can go around and modify out. But if you want a quick um, a size right here, then you can see that you can go around over here and click on add a heading, add a subheading and add a body text right here, just like this. So if I were to go around and type in, let's say, for example, tutitube over here, just like this and click on next, then what happens is that I can go around and see that this is what you have, as you can see right here. And then it uses AI to generate out your contents as well. So you can go around and click on heading and you simply have your heading right here. And then if I were to go around over here, let me just go around and type in tutitube again, just like this um, uh, over here on the text section. So you can see that tutitube is here. Let's find your tutor, become uh, connected today and then become connected today is here again. So I'm just going to go around and say tutitube YouTube channel, just like this. And then for multimedia and general uh, computing. So if I were to go around and then add this in multimedia and general computing and click on this arrow right here, then it'll generate out the text just like this, as you can see right here. So now if I were to delete this right here, so it says master multimedia and computing, learn from tutorials, and then you got a YouTube channel uh, detail right here, just like this. So it says YouTube is a YouTube channel. Uh, TutorTube is a YouTube channel dedicated to helping its subscribers master multimedia and general computing with a wide range of short yet comprehensive tutorials on topics like software training, website creation, digital media. So you can see that it almost got the contents perfectly right here. And by using the help of AI, it generated out the text like this as well. So that is how you can go around and add in text and use the text uh, generation tool as well inside of um, uh, inside of Microsoft Designer. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.